Hello everybody, welcome back to the Crypto Realm. So, uh, Solana, there's an article on Coindesk, a link in the description. Get that out of here. Alright, so Solana's SOL surges after Blockchain's foundation delays plan to unstake tokens. Yeah. So, a record amount of Sol was unstaked as investors reclaimed their tokens from the blockchain security mechanism. But it could have been a lot more. The Sol price jumped 27%. A record 31 million of Solana blockchain SOL tokens were unstaked Thursday from the blockchain security mechanism, a day after crypto analysts warned that some investors might be seeking to redeem their holdings as the price of the digital assets tanked. Oh yeah, everything tanked. But the price of SOL surged in digital asset markets after the Solana Foundation, which supports development on the blockchain, said it would postpone a plan to unstake some 28.5 million tokens. So they kind of just saved themselves right there from a more price decline. And that kind of gave people like optimism. So people started buying back in and that's what kind of drove up the price of Solana. Otherwise we could have, we might have seen it below $10. <laughs> a total of 63 million soul was pre previously ready to be unstaked at the conclusion of the Solana blockchain's epic 370. Staking lockup period, according to a statement from the Solana Foundation on Thursday. The foundation had tweeted late Wednesday that about 28 million SOL tokens scheduled to be unstaked had been restaked due to a policy change with cloud service provider Hetzner on November 2nd. Those tokens are owned by the Solana Foundation's treasury and had been staked as part of a delegation program, according to the tweet. While 28 million soul was in the process of being unstaked during this epoch, the plan to unstake has now been postponed, and all 28 million soul have are now being restaked, according to the new tweet. Sorry, according to the tweet thread. The FTX connection. So the soul price fall. Sorry. <laughs> The sole price fall appeared to be tied to speculation surrounding this week's drama involving the rapid deterioration of billionaire Sam Bankman Fried's crypto empire, including the FTX exchange and Alameda Research Trading Firm. Rehad Carey, research analyst at crypto data firm Kaiko, told Coindesk on Monday that Sol is Alameda's second largest holding, and it also holds significant amounts of Sol ecosystem tokens including maps and oxy Whew. yeah that could have been really bad <laughs> um the speculation was alameda might need up might need to dump its sold tokens to raise liquidity yeah that's what i was thinking Sol's price recently rose 27 percent to around 17 dollars after plunging as low as 12 in the past 24 hours crypto markets were broadly higher the coindesk market index jumped 11 percent yeah, so this could have easily went down below $10. Between FTX and not, like people needing liquidity, they need cash fast, they have to sell things, things are coming out that have been staked, they just, they want out. They probably want out. I don't know, I would. And Solana crashing all the time, that's not good either. So a new Solana staking epoch. An epoch on the Solana blockchain refers to the time period when staking rewards are earned and then issued. Validators will lock in their stake on the blockchain during this period, which takes about two days, and can choose to unlock the tokens once the epoch is over. The new epoch period, known as 371, started Thursday morning with currently around 660,000 tokens worth more than 11 million already scheduled to unstake after the lock-in period ends, according to Solana Compass. Eliezer Ndinga, director of research at crypto investment products firm 21.co, said that some operational indicators of the Solana blockchain, such as user adoption, still look healthy. The number of applications built on top and the retention rate of the developer, developers is also a testament to the ecosystem's overall health, Ndinga said. I believe that there is nothing that is structurally damaging for the Solana adoption itself. He told Coindesk, Solana should come up stronger as long as, of course, it remains. <laughs> wow, that's a bull, that's a big thing to say, right? If he was really confident in all these metrics, he wouldn't say it remains. 
sure we can't predict the future so we gotta leave that up in the air you know but still how about things like cardano that are doing more nft action than any other blockchain right now and have more developers doing anything on it than anything else right now this is craziness solana in my just my opinion and i'm sure i'll hear it in the comments solana's not gonna last it's gonna get well, it might last, right? But I don't think it's going to be able to contend with, like, Cardano. I just don't see it happening. Maybe it can be, like, good for meme coins or something. Meme NFTs? I don't know. I just don't like it. There's too many VCs involved with it. And this is just my personal opinion. I'm sure there's a lot of you that love it. But from a crypto perspective, Solana is not for me. It's... It's not decentralized enough. And I don't believe that the VCs are, have your best interest at heart. They don't care if the Solana does good for the community or countries that need it and banking the unbanked. They pretty much just want the, to make as much money as they can from it and then they're going to dump it one day. So that's the day I don't want to be in it. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Have a good one, everybody. Play hard, trade smart.